Bustling with commerce, Times Square is a symbol of vibrance and culture not only in New York City but around the nation. Its ambiance attracts people from all walks of life who want to experience the true essence of New York. Yet not even four miles away lie 2,996 souls of people whose lives were lost in one of our country's greatest tragedies. My name is Ashley Gonzalez and on September 11, 2001, I was seven months old. At such a young age, I couldn't have known what my country was going through, whereas others endured a hardship that no one should have to go through. I learned about the tragic events of 9-11 through textbooks and videos in elementary school, but those who experienced this tragedy by watching it live on TV through their own eyes have different perspectives on the impact of this day. The feeling was twofold. First of all, it was just disbelief. Uh, we were sitting in an office and it came on the television and I had no idea what was happening. People thought it was just an airplane crash, but slowly it evolved that it was much worse than that, that it was an intentional issue that had taken place there. The, the immediate effect was shock, uh, where there wasn't, uh, it wasn't that power of emotion that you'd have immediately. You knew it was something bad, but at first it was just pure shock. There, there were two parts of it. One was there was the question about who caused it, what was going to come of it, and what were the issues going to be coming out of it. Uh, there was fear after that. Uh, I traveled a lot to various cities, and after that you were very aware that there might be people or that weren't exactly happy with you that might cause damage going forward as well. As an infant, I couldn't experience the blaring sirens, or the crying, or the deafening screams of the victims. Since these are all things that older generations had to witness, their everyday reality is now scarred. As time went on, I still couldn't grasp the magnitude of how symbolic the towers were and why 9-11 was such a devastating day. I wasn't alone. Throughout my childhood, I was always amongst other children that also sat through the moments of silence not knowing the full significance of that day. Well, I wasn't there whenever it happened, so I didn't see it, like on TV or anything, And but I do know that there was probably a lot of fear and terror whenever it did happen, and people were watching it on TV and they weren't sure what happened or what was going on or whether they were safe or not. Yeah, I think that they had it way worse than I did, like from watching it on TV versus me learning about it in school. So I definitely think the older you were, the more you understood the situation and it affected you greater. But um, as for me, since I was so young, I think that it still affected me because I saw what people were going through. Like growing up every single year on 9-11, we were like, had to watch what happened on like the projector screen in, in grade school and stuff. And like, I feel like they don't really do that as much. They don't take it as serious as much from someone who like wasn't even born. Like it's kind of, Something that is a little bit joked about, but it is a very serious matter. I think it made it, um, by me seeing it, it was more impactful than my daughter who, who wasn't alive. I think me bringing her here, it's impactful. I think this has really hit her where it's like, oh my gosh, I'm actually seeing it. I don't think it's, it's just kind of been glossed over. Year after year, it just kind of, it's not as significant maybe um, as it should be, and that's just, Who's going to make it significant if it's not the school system or your parents? Or... Being a country that thought it was untouchable, this moment in time altered our everyday reality. Whether you've experienced that moment in some capacity or learned about that moment from the voices of others, people today should never forget the events of that morning. Being able to reminisce on the past is pivotal to transcending this new mindset into the future, not only here in New York, but also throughout the rest of the world. This has been Asha Gonzalez reporting.